Looking at the state Senate, the Virginia Public Access Project says only four of the 40 seats up for election today in the Senate are actually considered competitive. Currently, Democrats hold a 22 to 17 advantage with one vacancy. 40 seats are needed for a majority. Now, perhaps the most competitive seat of this cycle is in Hampton Roads. Incumbent Democratic Senator Monty Mason is taking on former York County Sheriff Danny Diggs. Now, this was a district that voted for Governor Yunkin by over three points in 2021, but actually favored Democrats for Congress last year. Now, we're also closely following Senate District 27 that covers the Stafford area. It's another one of those districts that voted for Governor Yunkin in 2021 before supporting Democrats in 2022. Our final competitive seat is in Loudoun County. The candidates there both raising nearly $5 million in October alone, showing you just how competitive they think that seat could be. All right, let's turn back now to Rianne Lowndes in Blacksburg. Rianne, you're covering House District 41 again. That's Lily Franklin and Chris Obenchain. Tell us why people believe that this is such an exciting race. Yeah, well, there's really no incumbent here. During redistricting, this 41 was realigned, meaning there's sort of no history here. Just Franklin and Obenchain battling it out. Democratic candidate Lily Franklin was chief of staff for delegate Sam Razul, while Oban Shane is a Montgomery County prosecutor. And since I'm here at Virginia Tech, I spoke to their student supporters. Young Dems Russell Swartz is waving down voters for Lily Franklin, while Ashley Kovitz with College Republicans is stopping students to ask them to vote for Chris Oban Shane. Smiling year to year because we've just seen an influx of so many students. Um, we got reproductive rights on the line. We got public education on the line. We're so worried about us going to the grocery store. And if they're not necessarily voting like Republican, um, I think it's really important that you know we're exercising the right to vote. As young people, we are the future of America. We are the ones who are making all the decisions, um, and we're the ones that all of these decisions are going to impact. Lots of passion between those uh, two supporters out there, too. You can uh, they've both actually been out here since 530 in the morning. They're staying out here until 7 p.m. to make sure that students can get out here and vote. You can still find information on Franklin and Open Chain on our website, WFXRTV.com. And you still have time to get out to the polls until 7 p.m. Live in Blacksburg, Green Lounge, WFXR News. All right, Rian, we appreciate it. Anna McDougall finishing off our live team coverage this hour. Anna, how has turnout been for the race that you're watching tonight? Drew, I've been out here at the polls in Salem for several hours now, and voters are continuously rolling in. Earlier, I spoke with both State Senate District 4 candidates, David Suterline and Trish White Boyd, about their plans for the district. Republican David Suterline says if elected, his primary primary focus is on cost of living and tax relief, as well as education and fair electric rates for Virginians. Democratic candidate Trish White Boyd says women's reproductive health, Virginia's income brackets and public safety regarding Interstate I-81 are top of her priority list. Both candidates have lived and worked in the community for several years and say if elected, they'll continue working hard for the district. I want to represent Southwest Virginia. I don't want to go to Richmond and think about Richmond. I want to go to Richmond and think about the district that I am representing. I'm personally invested in our community. My own children attend the public schools and will until about 2040. So I'd really appreciate folks' uh, support today. The District 4 race includes the cities of Roanoke and Salem, as well as parts of Roanoke County and Montgomery County. Now, voters are still trickling in here. Like I said earlier, we're going to have an update on this later on WFXR News at 630. But for now, live in Salem, Anna McDougall, WFXR News.